controversial Syrian activist group, the White Helmets, tried to lobby the Pink Floyd co-founder, Roger Waters. This, for example, is an email from October 2016, inviting Waters to a fundraiser organized by a Saudi billionaire to honor the work of the White Helmets. In it, he's also being encouraged to watch a documentary about the group. But it didn't stop there. Just days before his recent concert in Barcelona, Waters was contacted by a French journalist working for the White Helmets. The reporter was asking Waters for a few moments on stage to deliver a message to the children of Syria. Waters declined both of the requests and instead publicly denounced the White Helmets at the concert. If we were listening to the propaganda of the White Helmets and others, we would be encouraged to encourage our governments to go and start dropping bombs on people in Syria. <laughs> This would be a mistake of monumental proportions. Roger Waters hit out at the White Helmets group, calling it a fake organization. He added it exists, quote, only to create propaganda for jihadists and terrorists. The White Helmets were the first to report on the alleged chemical attack in Douma. Although it's been widely praised in the West for its rescue work, its members have repeatedly been accused of having direct links to extremist groups. Well, we contacted the White Helmets for comment. In the meantime, we've spoken to journalist and RT contributor Max Blumenthal. He's uh, the one Roger Waters handed his emails to. Years, uh, journalists, including myself, have been reporting on the danger of the White Helmets, how this Western-funded organization funded by Western and Gulf governments has basically been an instrument of encouraging regime change. And it's not just a group of average volunteer rescue workers. It's an international influence organization whose representatives show up in Congress to lobby for no-fly zones and sanctions on Syria, uh, as well as parliaments across Europe while they're operating on the ground alongside al-Qaeda and their allies. And these are just documented facts. And for the first time, a mainstream figure on an international stage on the eve of war has validated what we've been reporting that has legitimized the journalism that we've been so mercilessly attacked for publishing. And it's forced uh, those who've attacked us and accused us of being conspiracists to actually uh, look at what we've reported, look at the facts, and they really have nothing to say back to us. They can't simply dismiss it as a Kremlin conspiracy anymore when Roger Waters is saying this.